Welcome back to the main stage here at the PlayStation Livecast E3 2016. Very excited now to be joined by Toshihiro Nagoshi and Sam Mullen from Sega. We're going to be looking at Yakuza 0. Pretty psyched for this, man. Super excited about Yakuza 0. This is, I mean, these are some pretty insane games. <laughs> uh, can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to be seeing in this? Because we're not watching uh, pre-recorded footage. We're about to watch somebody play an actual demo of the game. Well, let's start out just kind of introducing what, what Yakuza. I'd like to ask Nagoshi-san kind of to explain what the big concept behind uh, Yakuza Zero. Absolutely. Nagoshi-san, just Yakuza Zero is how game is. もうシリーズは10年続いてる日本のタイトルですけど、今回はあのその中でも珍しく30年前の日本が舞台になっているゲームです。So、um I love it. And tell, tell me a little about the area that we're running around in right now. あの、この、この街について。はい。あの、当時の日本はですね、え、結構やはり携帯電話もなかったので、あの、いろいろこう技術的にも文化的にも違った、また今の日本とは違う東京とは違うテフトがあってですね、それを再現するのに苦労しまし
for this game, they, they took that in and they basically said, well, let's make money the effect. So instead of when you when you beat dudes up, um, it's a little weird, it's a little crazy, yeah. but you know, it fits really really well within the theme. Kind of that the, excess of the decade. The excess of the decade. I love it. Tell me about tell me about this sort of S and M scene that we're seeing right here with this so, dominatrix. So this, yeah, this is a sub story uh, <laughs> um, where uh, basically uh, Kiryu meets this really nice girl who's who's trying to be a dominatrix, but. She's not really. She's just she's too, just nice, not, for she's too <laughs> nice for it. <laughs> I love it. So this man, like, yeah, some sub story is a lot of humor that's in this game. Ah, no, yeah. Well, to be honest, I think that this is a grand story, but this is a very small human drama. So, I mean, the core story of these games is, is very important, but it's, it's also very important to make sure that people like the environment. They, they feel like the, the city is a living place. And so there's a lot of effort and a lot of attention that goes into creating these small little sub-stories uh, that really flesh out the character of uh, you know the the scene in the, uh, the the city itself. だから主人公はキャラクターは主人公で大事だけど、僕はその同じぐらいこの街という舞台がこの作品にとっては同じぐらいメインに大事にしているので。So the protagonist is of course you know they're 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 a uh, very important to the story, but you know the the setting and the, the what happens and where it's happening is also equally equal as important. I know. You, you could almost say maybe, maybe uh, the, the the city itself is is a protag. Sure. Uh, yeah. 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 The sort of detail in the environments, but the different things you can do. You know, all the different little kind of side quests and mini games yes. and, and things you can do within Tokyo and Yakuza have always kind of reflected the city really well. Can you tell us about some of the some of the side quests and some of the mini games that we've been taking on? I know, Tonko, it's like a sub story or a mini game. So, I think it's important to keep the sound of 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 the so the series is very iterative. Um, so you know, starting with the very first one over the ten years, you know, they, they, they continue to look at the listen to the what the fans are liking and you know they they improve what's in there, replace things that that, that people didn't really like with new better things. And over the course of time, yes, there's just tons of Mini games. There's so much to do now. Like uh, right here, we, we got what's going on here. He's going into a telephone club. Okay. You know what a telephone club is? No. <laughs> tell me all about it. Nakusan, telephone club. Telekara ni tsuite. Chotto shoukai shite. Ma, kono mukashi wa desu ne. E, ano, keitai denwa ga nakatta kara. Ko danjo no deai suru bame mo suku nakatta no de. So yu denwa de ne, ano, free call de kakete kureru onna no koto ko ne deai so yu ma. <laughs> so, so back in the I mean, this is back like we said back before there were cell phones and it was kind of hard for men and women to meet at the time. So they had these things where uh, basically girls would call in call, call in for free to meet guys, and this is how they would you know it's you can talk in a safe environment and then if, and then you get like a you can get a date this way. So this is what he's doing. He's trying to chat up this girl okay. on the phone, and if you get to the end of it, you can. You can get a date. You get to go meet the girl in real and we're life. Just, and we're just sort of selecting what we think is the most appropriate. Yeah, there's a lot of like, there's one one answer that's good, and all the rest of them are bad. I like how I like how I'm a nympho is covering up the rest of the screen, so it's just kind of like I know that's wrong. Yeah. I've got to get around, but it's so yeah, hard to get around. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like. Ugh. <laughs> So the point is, is that you have to get three. There's three bits of information. You got to get her to describe her body, mm -hmm. and you get kind of a better picture of what her body looks like, and you get her to describe her face, and she get a better. You can done. You can gradually. She you can start to see what she looks like, and at the very end, you have to ask her, "Can we meet?" Okay. <laughs> you go and then you. Yeah, you shouldn't do this though if you have a girlfriend though. Don't, sure. don't play this at home if you have a <laughs> that's, this is this is an optional sub quest. <laughs> yeah. So this is cool, but this is this is something like you were saying, uh, where without setting this in the '80s, there's no way to sort of show this this sort of cultural touchstone. 
That was there. I know, like, yeah, but in the 80s, 90s, there was no such thing as a song. So, yeah, 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 Yes, this sort of thing is very unique to that to that particular time. I love that, by the way, he he just accidentally picked. I feel like throwing up. Uh, that did not do well for him. Uh, so then the girl hung up on him. Yeah. I know. Can't just sit around saying that. So cool, cool, cool. He's oh, he pressed the wrong button. So if he picks it up at the wrong time or hits the wrong button, the girl hangs up on him. You do, and you lose the chance to okay to kind of do it. So, so there's a lot of there's definitely a lot of timing involved. There's timing, as well. it's very timing important. Gotcha. So this is cool. So uh, what is what is the timeline here on on Yakuza Zero as far as? So currently, uh, Yakuza Zero is scheduled uh, for uh, early 2017, uh, releasing on PlayStation 4 exclusive, um, and we're really excited about it. Super excited about it. That's awesome, guys. Thank you so much for bringing it by. Thank you again to uh, Toshihiro Nagoshi and to Sam Mullen from Sega for coming and showing us this. Uh, in just a minute, we've got Titanfall. We've got Kingdom Hearts. We have so much more coming up today. So be sure to stay right here at the PlayStation Livecast. <laughs>